much for voting for Mr. Desmond Chu. He may have lost the Haogang by election, but People's Action Party candidate Desmond Chu was out early on Sunday morning to thank Haogang residents for a heartening 2.7 percentage point increase in votes. Although the results, of course, did not fall uh, our way, uh, but I still remain very encouraged um, that we have improvement in the percentage. I think we reverse a downward trend. Uh, which was a big positive uh, for myself and for the team. Um, we also see that uh, a lot of people uh, have started to believe in our new vision of a new beginning. Uh, I believe that the process of change has started. Uh, so I'm very encouraged by that. Uh, I think we'll continue on that uh, path. Uh, right from the onset, there is always going to be a tough contest. Uh, I'm glad to have made headways uh, and we're looking forward to making that momentum. Chu lost to Workers' Party Peng Ying Huat 62.1% to 37.9% of the 23,368 registered electors in Haogang. To the 1,417 who did not cast their vote, Chu thanked those who intended to vote his way. I think it also coincided with uh, the start of the school holidays. So that may have played a part. I know that many residents came to me uh, and was going around and said that um, they were very... Uh, uh, disappointed that they could not be able to cast their vote because they're going off either for work or, or because they're planned for the vacation ahead. So it could really have swung either way. So uh, very hard to make a stand on that. But I still want to thank all of them who didn't vote uh, but actually wanted to vote for us. On polling day, Chu had a chance to talk to Peng at one of the counting centres. When it became apparent that his WP rival was about to win, Chu readily offered his support for future projects which were in the best interest of Haogang residents. I wish him all the best. Um, all along I always said that it would be a clean and good fight, uh, a contest between gentlemen. And I'm glad that it, uh, it happened that way. I will still keep up to the promise of a coffee. And in regards to the projects, I've said to him that as long as the projects are sound, good, practicable, and most importantly, in the best interest of residents, uh, I will be there to try my best to support. Following his defeat, Chu is focused on getting back to work Monday morning, raising funds and pursuing projects that he had started before the by-elections. Uh, many residents have said that they want to come by, uh, and there are some follow-up cases we need to do. Um, those are something that I will continue to focus on. I think the program still needs a lot of fundraising that needs to be done. Um, so that will pretty much set my path for the, for the rest of the year. You know that I've started on uh, the journey uh, to press for a new market and new commercial developments in Hokang before the by-elections. And I've always said that it is, it is regardless of what the by-election results are, it is not politically driven. And I'll continue that path. And I still remember that MND still owes me a reply. So let's work towards that. And now that the by-elections are over, Chu's other commitment is spending more time with his family. He gave some insight to their reactions when the results were announced. I think they were, they were disappointed, of course, they were, they were sad. Uh, I, think, I think that's natural. That family members tend to take it a lot harder than we do. Um, for me, I've been through that process. I know how tough it is. So uh, I'll be there for them to make sure everything is all right. Uh, we will have a family gathering very soon uh, to, to let them know that sorry I've been away from my family for a while but now that they have always on my mind that now I'm back uh, to be with them so I, but I think that the process takes time um, and, but I'm, I know that uh, they will be strong for me and I will be there for them For more on the by-election watch Razor TV's other clips